Ooh, so good. Uh, welcome, everyone. My name is Jarrett Weisselman. I'm the senior editor for BuzzFeed. And welcome to everyone joining us on the Yahoo stream for tonight's Teen Wolf Paley Fest panel. In June 2009, MTV announced it would be turning the 1985 movie Teen Wolf into a weekly series. People were rightly skeptical. I mean, it was a comedy with terrible effects about an overly hairy high schooler who plays basketball every week. But then executive producer Jeff Davis turned the concept on its head and produced an addictive show that was darker, scarier, and funnier than anything we could have expected. Over the subsequent four seasons, MTV's Teen Wolf has broken countless ratings records for the network and cemented itself as a downright obsession with every moment, episode, and flexed muscle analyzed, scrutinized, and gift out for repeated enjoyment. Thank you, Tumblr. Uh, the show also embraced the LGBT community like few others. Not only is Beacon Hills a beautifully inclusive community, but the show consistently presents one of the most progressive perspectives on modern sexuality anywhere on television. And let's not forget that Teen Wolf introduced the world to Tyler Posey, Dylan O'Brien, Colton Haynes, Crystal Reed, Holland Roan, how does Googling mythology behind kitsunes and deciphering ancient languages and wondering where styles had been all of our lives. So, to reflect on the last four seasons and tease what season five has in store for us, let's welcome to the stage Holland Roden, who plays Lydia Martin. <laughs> Give it up for Shelly Hennig, who plays Malia Tate. Next up, Dylan O'Brien. Keep the screaming going for Tyler Posey. Next up, we have Arden Cho, who plays Kira Yukimura. One of the newest additions to the Teen Wolf family, Dylan Sprayberry, who plays Liam Dunbar. Of course, none of us, <laughs> none of us would be here tonight without this man. It's executive producer Jeff Davis. And lastly, you know her, you love her, you miss her, Crystal Reed. Guys, give it up for Teen Wolf. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. Uh oh. Yeah, we're mic'd. It's happening. <laughs> Keep it's the swearing to it's a off. minimum. Or don't, whatever. It's the internet. It's fine. We can swear? <laughs> I mean, uh, I did not say that. Uh, for the record, uh -oh. I did not say that, MTV, if you're listening. Um, so before, you know, let's, let's take this back to the very beginning, Jeff. Like I said, I mean, in 2009, there was this idea to turn this movie from 1985 into a television show. <clears throat> what is it that you wanted to accomplish? Because if you look at the movie, it is nothing like this television show, aside from the title. I wanted to rip off the Lost Boys. So. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, to be more specific, uh, I wanted to um, create something that had a sense of humor. A lot of uh, teen shows are kind of melodramatic. It's a little too much soap opera for me. And I told MTV a long time ago, I can, I'm not sure I can do soap opera, but I can do, I can do romance, uh, and I can do horror and comedy and thriller. And it was a way to do a fun suspense show. Um, and it was also a way to get a show made at a time where making shows was very difficult. Yeah. Um, it's a different landscape now. So it's actually nice to, it's sort of incredible to see that this show has gone 60 something episodes. We're gonna reach episode 80 with this season. Crazy. And it's thanks to these people I'm sitting here. Uh, Tyler, when you read the script for the first time, what do you remember about the pilot of Teen Wolf? I, I, I fell in love immediately with it. One, because I was auditioning for the lead of the show. 
and I had never, I had never played a lead before. So I was like, oh yeah! And it was on MTV, I'm a huge MTV fan. Jackass my entire life, that was my childhood. <laughs> um, and it, uh, it just all kind of fell in line. It, it came in a perfect time in my life. I, I had been acting since I was like uh, six years old and, and I was always homeschooled and like always busy doing things and I didn't have the most stereotypical child life and like I always wanted to experience like high school and junior high as a normal kid. So like I went to high school and I kind of lost sight of acting just a little bit. And I, I, as soon as I found my passion again, I was like, okay, high school's cool, but I, I, gotta, I gotta do something with this. You know, this is my, my career, my job. <laughs> and as soon as I had that, that idea, I, I booked Teen Wolf like a year later. And it's everything I've ever wanted. And, and, and I, I read the script and I was like, this is something I have to be a part of. And till this day, I've never been so passionate about trying to get a job. Auditioning is hard as an actor. Auditioning sucks, I hate auditioning. But um, <laughs> I was never so passionate about, <laughs> I, was never, I was never so passionate about wanting to get a role than, than this, and it's everything I've always wanted. So thank you, Jeff. Wow. And, you know, well, now you have two jobs. <laughs> uh, you know, Crystal, from the very beginning, Allison was not your typical female character on a show that would be on MTV. You'd think she was just there to service a love story, and. That was never really the function she served. How important was that to you and to Jeff, I think, in the early days of building this character with her being so much more than a quote unquote love interest? I think the reason why I loved Allison is because she's grounded in such a realism. Um, and at the time that I read the pilot, there wasn't much out there for young females um, th that felt like they were empowered. And that's why I loved it. Because in the pilot, she seems, she seems to the naked eye slightly weak but that's not at all what she is, and she finds that through season one, two, and three, and, um, and I think that's why I loved her so much, because there's so much more than meets the eye with her. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Jeff, what do you remember about the four auditions with you know, the people who've been on the show since day one? Were they all sort of people that from the very beginning you were like, oh, good, we, don't have to, we can stop looking, we're all set now? Well, Crystal is a great story because Crystal's the first one who came in to audition for the role of Allison. And I, I love telling the stories because every other girl who came in, um, I would say the same thing, turned to Russell Mulcahy, the director, now executive producer on the show, not as good as Crystal, not as good as Crystal, not as good as Crystal, <laughs> every oh, yeah. single time. And uh, I, I knew it was her from the beginning. And um, when they did the scene together, when we did our first chemistry read, it was sort of extraordinary to see them do it. And we still, we still do uh, chemistry reads. You, you try to pair people up and see if they'll, they'll have chemistry. And we use that scene, the, uh, the animal clinic scene, um, where she brings the dog in. And um, no one's ever done it as good as them <laughs> on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm on a leash, Tyler. I'm on a leash, because <clears throat> um, I'm a dog. So it's, it's, it's amazing to see. Uh, I remember, I actually, one of my most vivid memories of uh, uh, shooting that pilot was seeing them do that scene together and looking in the monitor and looking up at Tyler and I was like, this is, this is good. We might have something here. This could, this could actually go a, a season. <laughs> it was a difficult scene. Yeah. That was, it was freezing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the raindrops, it was a rain machine and the raindrops, for some reason, they put them at a very large, oh, it was like, Hail. Just can't see they, they were, okay. There's a scene when, when she's outside and she's shaking as she's saying, uh, definitely yes. <laughs> and I said, I said to our camera uh, people, I said, can you turn the rain down? She's dying out there. Or turn the wind down. And they're like, you can't see the rain if, you, if, if uh, it's not pouring. Mm -hmm. uh, the magic of Hollywood is so glamorous. <laughs> uh, I'm curious, so you know, when you write characters, I think you have a vision of them. But then when you have the actors come in, <clears throat> that vision can often change. I'm thinking maybe uh, with Styles and with Lydia specifically, those probably were characters that may have had different arcs prior to the casting of these two actors. I'm curious how much they changed from your original idea of them when uh, these two came on. Uh, well, that very much goes to the idea of the, <laughs> an actor creating the character. You write the lines and you create the situations, but that's, that's the actor's job to bring it to life. I mean, they bring so much of themselves. And, uh, I think uh, all, all of these actors on this stage have created their characters. Uh, we can give them witty lines and, and moments, but uh, the real feeling that's communicated on screen, that comes from them. Um, and it's why uh, they're sought after, and why they 
keep being stolen away from you by movies and other TV shows. <laughs> it's very true. Yeah. Uh, CW. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I don't know what you're referring to. Uh, Dylan, you know, I think we've seen throughout the last four seasons your gift for physical comedy is kind of unrivaled on television right now. And I'm curious, it's a, it's a fact, just accept it. Uh, but I'm curious, you know, how you originally view styles when you guys were making that pilot and how you feel like that's changed over the last four years. Um, I, I, remember, I remember when I read the pilot, um, I was reading it for Scott, because that was what my audition was for. But this guy kept cracking me up named Styles, and I was just like, who's this dude? I love, is he like older or something or younger? Like, I didn't understand why uh, I didn't have an option, you know, for both of them. <laughs> and uh, so I called my manager and, and I, I, I said I loved it. I was really into the pilot and uh, I thought it was really well written and a great script and a great arc that first episode, you know? And, but I was like, can I go in for Styles? I just think I'd be a lot better at that. I, I, I love him, you know? Um, so that's, that's how that started. And I don't know, the way I see him is just, uh, is just so boundless. And so like, um, you know, he, he doesn't care what a single person thinks. I mean, he doesn't filter through any, anything. And, I, and that's, that's actually like really the one thing, because I feel like I share a lot with Styles, but I feel like uh, that's one thing that I don't have, you know? I feel like I am a lot more pleasing to people. And, um, you know, and I love that he just like doesn't care, man. He's just gonna tell you exactly what he thinks. He's gonna call you an idiot, you know? But at the same time, he's very protective and loyal to his friends. And uh, I guess, I don't know. I think he's one who always needs to remain consistent uh, as far as like his, his essentials go as a character. You know, I feel like he, he, you know, he's the glue. I like to look at him as the glue. <laughs> <laughs> that, that holds the show together, is what I was, or, you know, or, or everyone in the show, you know, he wants, even now in season five we're, that we're starting, you know, he wants everyone to stay together, you know? Yeah. And uh, so I, you know, I mean, he's, He's experienced a lot over the years, and he's gone through some crazy stuff. Um, but I feel like to his core, he, he'll always be the same, you know? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Holland, you know, when we were talking about characters evolving, I don't know if there's a character on the show who is more different now than she was, than they were in the pilot, than maybe Lydia. I mean, it's, a, it's almost as if we've gone on such a more significant journey than just a couple of years with her. You often liken it to the hatch on Lost. I would love if you could. <laughs> discuss the lost hatch theory when it comes to Lydia. This was so many years ago. <laughs> discuss this. Um, well, first off, I, I actually did have an option. My agent called me and said, well, so weird hearing your voice echoed. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking about like the case over there with you know, Patrick Harris and the magic trick he did at the Oscars. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking on the stage. Um, remember this, the, the, this no. case? It all, it was, it was I, I know. You don't know. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. um, and I chose the wrong character because he was, uh, my agent, I remember it was like pouring down rain, I was driving, he said, you can play this, I think it was off the runways of Milan, like Milan runways, i.e. like a model, and, and then there was Allison, uh, this like mystery new girl in town. I was like, obviously Allison. I mean, why would you ever send me in for Lydia? And then like a month and a half later, I was in for Lydia, and uh, after I went in for Allison, I didn't get a call back. And um, <laughs> like, we like you, but no. And uh, I was sitting in a waiting room with a bunch of essentially models, and I was like, this is a joke. And, and then I booked it, and yeah, so I think it, from the very moment it evolved, um, you know, from this little piece of rubble with numbers on it. Um, <laughs> and, and yeah, I was really happy to get the role because I was employed and at that point. And, uh, and from there, it's, it's just snowballed, and I love that as like Lydia's walls have essentially come down and become more familiar with all the rest of the characters in the cast, um, she's able to relax and it's not so pushed and so pronounced and overact almost where she's constantly having something on, like a, like a Tracy Flick-esque mm -hmm. comparison. Uh, but as far as the hatch, it's like, cause it's layers. You keep unlayering her, <laughs> you know what I mean, metaphorically? Well, you yeah. had known for a long time where her sort of eventual place she was going would be, the banshee of it all. No, I didn't know. I, I had no idea. So when did you find out the word banshee? I don't think Jeff knew <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, you can't even. I, I, I knew, I think as I was like screaming, I'm like, why am I screaming? Okay, I'm a banshee. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is it basically what happened? Essentially, I mean, he had. I remember Jeff had approached me and said, "You know, 
how strong are your vocal cords or something like that. And I was like, <laughs> why? Um, and he's like, because you won't have them at the end of the show. Uh, so yeah, that's, I mean, it was- We warned you. You what? We warned you. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was fairly short. It was not, we didn't have a lot of notice. I remember he no. approached me about it. At the I, Holland is a prime example of an actor who, when you first start getting the dailies back, you, the writer, sit and watch and they say, well, she's good. Mm -hmm. Let's write more for her. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lydia's character is, um, uh, she's become such a great car character because of Holland, because she inspired the writers to want to write for her. Um, that's great acting, I think. Uh, and I love the, uh... <laughs> it's nice when it happens. I, I love where her character's going. She's fun, and there's some good surprises this season, too. Uh, I'll tease that the whole cold, o the, the big cold opening, uh, one of the big cold openings of the season is all about Lydia. It's really fun. And how are the vocal cords doing, just for the record? She, we, we, have, we have a bank of screams. <laughs> so you don't have, so, okay, wait, so does that mean when you're doing, like, stage screaming now, or is there just pretending to scream where no sound comes More out? More stage scream-ish, and, you know, you want to, like, give it to the other actors on their coverage, or sure. you, you'll still give something, but um, I think, like, a year and a half ago, I stopped screaming, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so just, you know, for the 12 of us in the room, what does a scream without sound look like when oh. you actually see it? Oh, it's, 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 it's funny. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, and then, and, and then I have to give something where, you know, and then We I, have werewolves that don't growl anymore, too. Heckman would just uh, open would hiss. his mouth, I think. <laughs> hiss, right? The only one that still does sick, it is Posey. Wait, yeah. I didn't Tyler, you still do like, it, right? Shel it. Shelly and I growl. Guys, nobody told me you could just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't do the face and no. not do the sound. No, you got you got to do the sound. I do the sound. Okay, you never mind. Do the sound. Tyler does the sound. I do the sound. <laughs> Shelly, Shelly does a great growl. You were Thanks. kicking ass last night. Thanks. It is a great growl. I mean, you kind of now have to do it, right? I feel like I don't want. No! To. <laughs> don't put him on the spot. Don't. You don't have to. <laughs> They're shooting Maybe tomorrow. They should save their voices. I don't know what to do. We need to save our voices. Fair. I got to save my voice, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Um, you know, one of the things that I think happens when you have a show that's mystical based is death comes to town quite a bit. And I feel like as we saw in the reel and I heard the gasping in the room, I don't think any of us are really over the death of Alice and Argent at this point. I mean, it's something that Jeff, when you and I talk, you're like, I physically can't watch that scene still. Is that true? Yeah. yeah and they put it in all the trailers and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, do we need to use it again? And I even, I think we even, we, we did an edit of this and I think we took it out and the network said, can you put it back in? I was like, oh, I can't watch Allison die again. Because <laughs> uh, uh, I miss her. Um, oh. We miss Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, it's hard to see one of your beloved characters die on screen. Uh, at a certain point in a show, you want to do something new and different. And isn't it great to like really shake things up? Uh, but then you go and shoot it, and you say, well, that was one of my favorite characters. <laughs> was that a good idea? <laughs> um, but I think actually... Yeah, maybe there's zombies. You can always, you can always bring know. dead people back but, to Beacon Hills. But the fact is, uh, we got great performances, and it's a great moment. Uh, uh, Allison dying in, in uh, uh, Scott's arms is phenomenal, and uh, Crystal, in the moment, uh, decided, I think I should say, I love you. When I looked in the dailies, I was like, that's perfect. She was absolutely right. And it was so good. Um, oh, my God. Yeah. Crystal, what was it about? I mean, what? obviously, that was a very you know, integral scene to the show, the world of the show, the character. I mean, what was it about that moment that made you want to include that line? And what was it like to film that? Um, <clears throat> so we had filmed all the surrounding coverage before we had actually filmed the, the death part. And the death part was maybe the last day of shooting. It was uh, early, early in the morning. Yeah, and um, it was, they recreated the set on stage, and it was, you know, so none of the elements were there for me to react to or Tyler. Um, but somehow I just felt really connected. I don't know why I say somehow, because I'm always really connected with Tyler. Um, <laughs> 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 um, but it was, it was difficult. It was difficult because I remember thinking of the physicality of it, and I had researched how people die, which is so morbid. <laughs> but I really, I have this obsession with like honesty and truth, and I really wanted it to look honest. And it's so many physical things happen to you, and so I was in my head about that. And then at one moment, I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do what I feel. And I love you just kept coming up for some reason. Well, the obvious reason. 
And, um, and I kept insisting on saying it because it felt so right for me. And, and I said it, and that was the moment where I felt the most grief, I think, was when I said that. Because it's such a, she's such an amazing character. And, and I felt like when she was dying, I did, and this is really, hope, I hope this doesn't sound too cheesy, but <laughs> I do feel like I sort of lost a bit of myself, you know, when a character goes because that they are a part of you. So it was sad. But I'm so happy because Tyler was there for me every second of the way. And um, that's all you can hope for as an actor, to have somebody be there and support you when you're in such a vulnerable moment. Um, I don't think I ever got to say thanks. So thanks. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Posey, there are a lot of people who die on this show, some series regular, everything from a series regular to like a random shirtless person whose name we never know. Um, I mean, is there? a process to sort of, of saying goodbye to actors? I mean, how do you sort of, you know, bid someone adieu when you've spent so much time? I mean, with them? It's, it's, it's difficult on this set to say goodbye because you know, it's never goodbye. You know, so it's never, it's never goodbye. Um, <coughs> we see the twins all the time. Um, you know, we see each other at, at events and Team Wolf will live on forever. So even though your character dies, you will go to all these different team of conventions and stuff. And so we always we always see each other, you know? So it's not, it's, I mean, with Crystal's death, it was different because um, uh, we had this, we had this connection and, uh, and it was, it was, it was a fun scene to do because as an actor, that kind of stuff is rewarding, you know? It feels good getting to that moment. And, and it was really easy with, with, with doing this scene. It just felt, it felt so, um, uh, I don't know. Just it was easy for me to get to that 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 emotional state because it, it was it was you know part truth you know and so uh, so I felt I felt I felt good after doing it but not in like a, like a, like a happy way but like a, I don't know I just it was rewarding you know does that make sense yeah um, so I don't know where I'm going with this <laughs> uh, it's sad it's definitely sad it's it's absolutely sad you know? like Crystal said it's 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 you're kind of losing a part of a part of yourself and. Allison was such a huge part of Scott, and so I, I, st I still play that in Scott, where he's 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 missing he's missing Allison, you know, and so it's it's definitely affected the character, it's affected me, you know, so it's uh, it, it it goes all over the board, you know, it's 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 interesting. Absolutely, Jeff. In this conversation about missing people, it would be remiss to point out that Tyler Hecklin is not with us tonight. Uh, Hi. What's up with that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he was supposed to be here actually, um, but uh, I think he's in. Uh, North Carolina at uh, Wizard World. He had uh, previous plans, but Hecklin is. Um, uh, we had talked. We wanted to talk about. He's not no longer a series regular on the show. Um, yes, Hecklin is. Uh, he came to me uh, a little while ago and said. Um, he told me about this experience he had doing shooting an independent movie, um, and how it had uh, excited him and scared him, and he wanted to do other things that scared him. I said to him, are you asking me if you, if you can move on? And he said, well, I want to try new things. And I said, all right, well, um, I'll talk to the network, but uh, we're not going to give you a, a complete goodbye in the, in the end of the season, because uh, I want to see you back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm trying to keep my hook in everyone uh, to, uh, and, Actually, we met just a couple of weeks ago to talk about po possible storylines, and uh, we came up with some stuff we were all really excited about. So while Tyler Hecklin uh, won't be a series regular anymore, you've not seen the last of Derek Hale. Ooh. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, you know, the, the silver lining, I think, to losing characters is bringing in new characters. Yeah, we and, get them. Um, we, we actually, one of the things we had talked about creatively as well was that, uh, um, if we were going to uh, lose some adult characters, uh, is it time to refocus on the teams of Teen Wolf in, in the beginning of season five? And so we have an actual team on the show. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes. Uh, Dylan, what is it like? I mean, you came in like, what is it like joining this show? <laughs> be, be honest. Be, uh, Come on, baby. It's, um, it's great. Um, <laughs> so full. I just remember like the first day, uh, or the, the chemistry as we did with uh, Dylan and Tyler, and it was amazing. You know, I had never met dudes that were like exactly like me. It was crazy. We um, feel the same way, dude. And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> we felt the same way. Uh, no, I was so nervous at first before because like I had no idea what to expect, and then I was like, 
my God. I like my twins. <laughs> and then I, I knew from that point on that, like, going on the show and, and starting would be so easy and so fun because everyone's like a big family. Absolutely. Uh, girls, was it the same for you? I mean, coming in, it was obviously like a different uh, storyline. You know, obviously you weren't becoming like a little brother to Scott and Styles, but I mean, you were involved with them. Uh, what was your experience like coming on the show? Oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the first part. Um, it was, it was, well, I can't say that I, I thought they were my twins, um, but uh, it's very similar to Dylan's experience, I felt really welcomed. Um, I think my first week was um, Crystal's last week. Uh, so I've actually not been able to get to know her very well, but uh, I feel like I know her and I feel like I know the cast of Teen Wolf and I feel like I've been part of it for a while, even though I haven't. Um, but that's a testament to how they treat me and how welcoming they've been. And uh, I really have no complaints. <laughs> it's nothing but shit. But if you did, this is definitely my... the platform no, for No, this is this is the moment. <laughs> Just give me a few seconds. I gotta come up. No, uh, champagne problems in my life. This show has been so good to me, and uh, I just love Malia. Arn, what about you? I mean, Kira was a character that I came in with like a literal thunderbolt. I feel like in a lot of ways. What do you enjoy about the role she plays in this world? Oh, I love it. I mean, I feel like I'm growing every day, even as Kira and as myself through it. And it was so great. The cast was so supportive, like everyone said. And right from the beginning, our chemistry was fun. Oh, okay? yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, was yeah, great. it was fun. It was really intimidating. I think for me coming in, I was a lot more scared. Even though everybody was welcoming, it's scary to come onto a show that's so established. And there's a family and there's like a routine and a system going to kind of come in abruptly and feel a little bit, you know, scared. Yeah. It was good. I like season five. I'm not <laughs> the new kid anymore. Yes, well, let's talk about season five. I mean, Jeff, what are you comfortable saying about the next stretch of episodes that are coming for these kids? Alice is coming back. <laughs> <laughs> We've got contracts in the back. Um, <laughs> get out the pen. Um, I, I can tease that it's, well, it's all about senior year, and it's about uh, the fear of uh, losing your friends after graduation. And it's uh, very much a, a season of new mysteries. Uh, there's a lot of action, a lot of horror. Uh, we're constantly challenging ourselves. Can we do bigger and better? Um, and I think uh, what's nice about this season is everyone's sort of a seasoned pro now. So. Uh, I sit in the writer's room, come out to set, watch the rehearsals, go back to the writer's room with the writers where we slam our heads against the wall. Um, I wrote uh, an email to the crew the other day actually saying it was really nice to be able to go out and see such good morale on set and see so much being done uh, and then have to go back to the hollow pit of despair that is the writer's room. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, you literally said that in the email. I did. <laughs> yeah. It was a joke. Um, but uh, I, don't think, I don't think everybody knew it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's great. I think uh, what we're going to see is uh, a lot of new stuff from, from Liam, from uh, Kira. And uh, there is a big refocus on, on Styles and Scott and their friendship. <laughs> I've always said this, that the real romance on the show is a bromance. That's right. <laughs> this is more of a personal question, but how long into season five do we have to wait to watch Kira dance again? Because that like underground dance rave thing is still one of my favorite things. What about my ever... moves? You got good moves too. You were too good. But you were really good. Yeah. Really dancer, good. Shelley. Really good. <laughs> well, Arden's really good with the sword, so you won't have to wait long for that. Um, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, you kick ass with that sword. Thank my God. Thank you. That's so sweet. I, how I, long I does it understand. take to get proficient with the sword? Um, I'm still working on it. <laughs> no, it's, I definitely, I mean, I, I feel like I should practice more, but I'm very thankful that everybody's so supportive and, you know, we have a really great team and really wonderful stunt coordinators and stunt performers that just are amazing. Absolutely. I had, um, uh -oh. I had asked uh, Twitter for some questions before <coughs> I came here, and so I'm, you know, a couple of them are about season five, and at Lydia is his first, which sort of tells you where the question is kind of going. Do you remember uh, who it was? And there was huh? actually a lot of questions about this, Jeff and the two of you. What's up with the Stidia Detective Agency? Will that come back again? <laughs> Will we get to see more exploits of these two? 
sleuthing around Beacon Hills. Sleuth? Um, Word? I, I like their, the, the pair of them together. They make good detectives together. Uh, there's actually a really fun episode where uh, they have to go into Eichenhaus, which is a sort of um, Arkham Asylum of uh, monsters of Beacon Hills and, and uh, interview someone, apply someone for information. It's going to be a fun episode. Uh, Dylan Holland, I'm curious, what do you guys think it is about your chemistry that makes the character's chemistry work so well? Because we're so different in so many ways, maybe? Are we different? Well, we're like similar <laughs> in ways. Extremely. And I guess not. No, no, we're not. Um, <laughs> Couples counseling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I finally got it out. Um, <coughs> oh, no, I didn't. He's a bit sick, guys. Aww. <laughs> um, so now, you're all, now you all know that I'm infecting you as we speak. My boy is, uh, my boy is sick. <laughs> um, I don't know. You never, as actors, that's what's weird being the actors. We never know what we're doing that's, that's uh, you know, we, we think how we think and we feel how we feel like about, you know, I can feel how I feel about my character and a dynamic uh, with another character and, and Holland as well, you know, and, and we just kind of apply that and, and work together and we, and we just react off each other. And, you know, I don't think we're as privy to what makes it great together, uh, you know. That's why you go through things like chemistry tests and everything and then they decide who they like to get. Powers above and you, you guys. We <laughs> <laughs> have a big question mark. <laughs> 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 I got it. I got yes. I have no yes. idea. That's what, what I needed said. to do. Yeah, same for you. Huh? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think we get to play more in our scenes together, but you experience play all around a lot of times. So right. I, this is me just like entering stuff in the world and being like, okay, we get to play. And then I, you know. So for me, uh, it was fun, but that's all I really knew as an actor. I didn't know if it, there would be like chemistry. And so I thought like some of our chemistry in the chemistry room. There was a lot of fun chemistry scenes. Oh, yeah. um, like the Molotov cocktail scene and like there was the yeah, I remember having a lot of fun. That's about it. Yeah, it's always fun. <laughs> I like that. Um at more Shelly H wanted yes. to know. Which more Shelly is All right. That's me actually. <laughs> it's posing. I have, I have, I have that's my Twitter. Thoughtful. Thank you for contributing. Yeah. Um, exactly, I know. wants to know in season five, what is Malia's living situation? Is she still with her dad? Does she live full time with Styles now? She's a full on moocher. <laughs> on I don't know. Uh, yeah. Styles doesn't seem to mind. I guess her her um, adoptive father doesn't seem to mind. I don't know, Jeff. Uh, we did a scene with um, her adopted father, Mr. Tate, in the first episode. I so. didn't know if I could tell them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. They, they, get, they don't quite know what to say, say because usually the next day I'm like, what did you say? <laughs> I looked petrified on the red carpet out there, by the way. <laughs> well, so did I. <laughs> This is a hard show to talk about, I'll give you that. Yeah. I mean, uh, but, I mean, that's great because I think that moment at the end of last season with, you know, the sheriff sort of being like, oh, let's take you out for pizza was pretty great. I mean, what do you like about her being ushered into that world in such a big way? Well, uh, she can use all the support she can get. I mean, she just found out her father's not her father. She's still looking for mommy. Um, mm -hmm. So... It's great to know, I'm sure, in Malia's world where, I mean, everything's been flipped upside down, it's great to know that um, there's a family there uh, for her at all times. And she's also under the same roof as the boy she likes. Which right. I mean, I don't recommend that to you guys back at home. Um, just be careful. I don't, don't worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well. Uh, we don't touch on that. Um, <laughs> It's, right, there's a, there's a very sensible cutaway that, like, to a fireplace yes. or something. Very, very practical. <laughs> Guess better. Yeah. Guess better, kids. So, like, yeah. curtains billowing. Oh, God. Way. Yeah. I mean, one of my favorite scenes is when we've got the chains for, you know, it's going to be uh, the full moon, mm -hmm. and Malia's afraid she's going to transform and hurt people, and Styles is uh, telling her it's going to be okay, and he's got, you know, balls and chains and the whole ordeal, and, you know, once he comes in, he's like, I don't even want to know. <laughs> uh, I think that was so perfect uh, for their relationship. Um, where, where were the balls? Yeah, where were the balls? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I made that up. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Do not let any, like they don't let anything go. It's great. <laughs> I just want to keep just letting you talk. I'm no, don't do, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. 
Jeff, from like a writing standpoint, what do you feel like you gain comedy-wise or relationship-wise from having the two of them under the same roof? Uh, well, it, it does give us a lot more scenes in the same <laughs> location. <laughs> Sometimes deciding whether somebody has a, a, a living place or not is purely budgetary. <laughs> it's how many, how many bedrooms can we fit on our stage? And would, a, would we get more mileage out of building a holding cell off the sheriff's station? So we built a holding cell off the sheriff's station this season. <laughs> Malia still sleeps with styles. In the holding cell. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna let that one hang there. Um, another question from at CSI 924 girl was, if Teen Wolf could do a crossover with any show past or present, what show would you like your character to be on? Friends. <laughs> that was awesome. We have not talked about that That was all. not planned at all. And we said it the exact same time. Amazing. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is who's Chandler and who's Joey? Joey. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Richard, Richard is uh, Tyler Hecklin. There you the go. The guy with the beard. Yeah. The yeah. mustache. The mustache. He has a mustache, Facial not a beard. Hair. Oh, come on. Right, what, so what about you? What show should <clears throat> Kira be on? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. I mean, she's got the skills. She can make it in that town. I hope so. I mean, I feel like lost, I don't know. I mean, do they, they already have a hatch, so maybe they... Oh, I think, I, yeah, I, I said in the past, like, Lydia would sell blue meth, like, with Brian Cranston. <laughs> like, she would, like, have a really great side business. Um, or she could be, like, split between Monica, sure, right? <laughs> um, and all my guest spots put in one. I mean, I, yeah, I would say cleaning with Monica, and I'm the spoiledness of, of Rachel, and I guess in Holland, in real life, is... I guess Phoebe. I mean, really? I, want one. I love Hilarious. Lisa Kudrow. I, I love Lisa friend. Kudrow. She is such a talented actress. But you know you wanted to be Rachel. Like, you know it. <laughs> she had the good hair, and you're like, come on. Oh, fine, I'll be quirky. But yeah, I would say Lydia's probably like Rachel and Monica. I don't know. All the stuff. You are so Phoebe. <laughs> you're so Phoebe. You're so Phoebe. But I love, yeah, yeah, friends. Yeah. Embrace her. There you go. Like so I'm guessing it would have to be The Walking Dead. Yes. <laughs> I feel like it could be like Vampire Diaries or something. But, <laughs> um, that's such a hard question. You mean, as her, in her present state, what would she? No, I think you can go with her being an alive person. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we can, we can uh, you know, go for any sort of rules we want here in this game asked by CSI 924 girl. <laughs> CS, no, I feel like she might be kind of cool and badass on um, Maybe Homeland or something Ooh. super smart. Nice. I like Next that. to Claire Danes. Yeah. Big. Nice. Do you have a good cry face? We don't know you have a good cry face. What am I talking My about? My cry face <laughs> is so pathetically ugly. <laughs> it is yeah, gorgeous. No, because it's a real cry face. Like, it's, you know, you can find it all over the internet. It's like, you know, nasty, contorted cry face. I don't cry pretty. Ask Jeff. <laughs> Because it's real. Because it's real. Because it's so real. I bleed for my I don't heart. remember critiquing your cry face. No, it's not a pretty one, though. <laughs> Shelly, any idea? Where should Malia show up? I think she'd be hysterical on Orange is the New Black. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my God. That would be funny. That would be funny. I like that. Dylan, Spray Bray, any, any shows? Uh, I mean, I feel like it wouldn't make any sense, but I'd definitely be on Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get him a leather jacket, Jack. Yeah. You gotta get him a leather jacket and a motorcycle. With a wolf on the him. back. Yeah. That's my passion. <laughs> the lone wolf. No more motorcycles. Uh. Um, another question from Teen Wolf Argentina uh, wants each of you to describe your character in one word. Oh, that's original. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I did not ask you. I'm just relaying. And we're gonna make you start now. All right, make me start. Um, original. Original. <laughs> uh, Joey. No. Um, uh, it is pretty hard, actually. My God. Um, just... I'll go. Okay, Honest. Thank you. Neo. Neo. Thank you. Awkward. Is that a Matrix comment? Neo? Yes. Oh, okay. Awkward. I like that one. Shout them out as they come to you. Go show. Real life. Heroic. Oh, I went. Honest. Honest. Oh, I like. I like heroic. Yeah. Protector. Loyal. Loyal. Good one. Loyal. <laughs> for you. For him and for me. Oh. Me? <laughs> Was it a good one for? We're clearly writers. Um, oh, it's just for everyone. I would say... <laughs> layered? Like, I don't... Smart? 
Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> she thinks she's awesome. That's, you know, <laughs> counts for something. Eclectic. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure, awesome. <laughs> Purely character based. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, no. You got no idea. <laughs> I need some, yeah. some hand sanitizer for my face. <laughs> just cough right in his face. You cough? <laughs> cough right in my face. Yeah. Okay, it's going well. It's <laughs> uh, all right, uh, moving on. Uh, from at Teen Wolf Oasis, if you could change one thing about your character, what would it be? And don't mind the fact that Jeff is here. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Yeah. She would wear flats. She would wear sneakers. She would wear, like, like those, those M murals, those like old lady shoes, like the really ugly ones, like the yeah, so yeah, ugly ones. Merrills, Merrills, that's it. The request for high heels comes from <laughs> Holland. Oh. Yes, it does. But if I got to choose as Holland, so but you know, uh, yes, Lydia should remain in high heels. That's her character. But Holland's uh, comfort level would be so what? <laughs> I, I came. I saw this online one day where they like they make me wear no. high heels, and I'm like Holland. What? You can wear whatever you want. What are you, no, but she should wear high heels. What do you want to wear? And she's like, no, 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 she should wear high heels. She I'm should like, wear high heels. Why are you saying that? Because I don't like high heels. Why are you saying we make you wear high heels? I mean, I feel like if you audition for a character, you can't just choose it because you want it as a person. So, you know, in like the perfect world, yeah. Actor dedicated to her craft. A complex I, I, I conversation that. about high heels. Is it crucial to you guys that Lydia has high heels? Yes. Oh, it's, okay. It's part oh of the God. character. Oh yeah. I heard about three okay. S's, so that's the, 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 the words. <laughs> the, the same way plaid is styles. So. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Again, like yeah, four, yeah, yeah. we don't really. So, so don't come to me about plaid. <laughs> They're look, you guys are looking at the clothes, right? No, I'm not coming. Dude, yeah, no, you don't, you don't care what we wear, man. Okay. Oh, all right, well then I just don't, I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be naked more this season, is that? <laughs> I'm gonna start right now, damn it! You're not sure it was ever anymore. <laughs> start now. I know, I haven't been shirtless for a while. Not me either. And you've been working out pretty And I've been working out. Jeff, have me be shirtless, please. Got That's it. one thing I would change about my character. I would be shirtless more. Is that a request you get a lot on the show, Jeff? No. More shirtlessness from the actually, actors? actually, there was a time where Posey, I believe, I remember you saying, "Why can't I wear lost long sleeves?" It was because he wanted to get more tattoos. I wanted to be covered in tattoos. Yeah, but I just, I got my leg tattooed instead, so now I wear long shorts. Um, <laughs> we try not to make them too uncomfortable, <laughs> and then if if uh, they say no, I say, "Get up there." Take that, take your damn shirt off. <laughs> you get more used to being naked. I remember, like, I had a shower scene this season, and you, I almost have no pretense anymore. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, cool. Like, yeah. I used to like freak out and be like, no, I've got to work out. And it's like, okay, whatever, fine. It's like an old marriage. Like, we just don't care anymore. <laughs> it's like, fine, I'll be naked. Yeah. Well, the, the difficult the thing sense. about it is oh. create some very unrealistic expectations for the audience because all the guys do push-ups before their shirtless scene. In between take, they're doing 40 push-ups to make sure they don't. I don't. No, I don't have either. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel bad for I feel bad for all the teenage boys out there who now have this impossible standard that they have to replicate. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right. Yeah, I know how you, you all must have abs and pecs. <laughs> Good point. Um, where? Oh, right. Uh, change about your character. Uh, Shelly, does anything come to mind for something you'd like to see I from just, the movie? I just made the I don't know face. And then you called you me. did. I saw. Um, uh, it's, this is a really difficult one. The suggestion that actually came with the tweet was she probably wants to be good at math. Well, <laughs> but then it wouldn't, the, you know, it wouldn't be funny. Um, uh, I really, I don't know. That's okay. Nothing is a perfectly what about being vegetarian. Yeah. Want to be a vegetarian? No. Want to eat, eat rabbits? <laughs> no, I would never eat a rabbit. But that, but. <laughs> uh, trying to help. I was helping. <laughs> I just realized what you were doing. Uh, I mean, Dylan, what about you? You've now been playing Styles for going on five years. Yeah. Do you feel like that you just love everything about him at this point, or are you like, I wish I could also wear less high heels? No, I. <laughs> 
Yeah. No, I'm cool with the high heels. Hans is, you know, <laughs> planner. I wear those things and I'm fine. Um, I wouldn't change a damn thing about style. Yeah, I baby. love it. I totally enjoy the character. I love anything that they throw at me and any situation that he's in. And uh, I always just find very funny or, or just awesome. I don't know. I, I... Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks for loving the show so much. Um, yeah, I love them. I mean, does that sort of, at this point, I mean, when you guys have the show and your characters are still being built, Arden, and Dylan, I mean, do you feel like you just want to embrace it all and take it all in like a sponge at this point still? Yeah, I mean, for myself, I don't think I changed anything about Kira except for just, I mean, this season's perfect because I feel like she's starting to really own into who she is. And so I love it. It's fun. Can't wait to see where it goes. Neither can we. What about you, Slavery? I mean, do you feel like it's all still sort of coming to you for the first time, so it's all just exciting and new? I wish I could dress like a lumberjack. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I wish I had like a beard and an axe and like a hat. Dylan, you asked me if I care. When he shows me his ideas, I'm like, no, you're not wearing yeah, that. Right, 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 exactly. Now you're not wearing that either. No, you're right, you do. Yeah. At, that, at that point. It'll happen one day. It'll happen one day. When you show up with an axe in a scene, you'll know where it all starts. Yeah. <laughs> you grow excellent facial hair. Yeah, yeah. Does. At 16, I, I could not grow a, the beard that you can grow at 16. I couldn't even grow hair on my head. <laughs> Still just like a baby. I don't, I don't know how you do it, man. I don't know. What's your secret? Water. Water. <laughs> This is my genius. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it too. <laughs> That's what's happened. There you go. I'm burping. <laughs> I'm so scared now. That was awesome, bro. Like, please Woo! don't throw anything else. I'm gonna go throw up real quick. <laughs> Do I have time to go to the bathroom real quick? <laughs> okay, I, can't. I understand. I didn't think. I, I mean, you did I not. Maybe just if I brought it up as like a crowd thing, it could be. I could like get away with but it. But they would all have to go. <laughs> but it's just not. They'd be like, yeah, go to the okay. bathroom. You thought you were gonna yeah. get people chanting to go yeah. to the I'd bathroom. I'd be like, let's see if I can get back in time. Who wants Dylan to go to the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Not a mic. Let's go. I just want to go with you. Yeah. I think that's the problem. Ah, uh, <laughs> makes it worse. Jeff, let me let me ask you. I mean, you've now been in some of these cases for five seasons and some less. I mean, what excites you about the stories you're going to get to tell in the upcoming season with these characters? You know, it, it's in, it's interesting because we're at episode we're shooting episode 64 right now, I think, which is amazing to me that a show called Teen Wolf has gone that long. Uh, it really is amazing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, uh, it's exciting to put them in new situations. Every, every season we try to think, okay, how do, how do we make the characters grow? What changes about the characters this year? How do we challenge them? How do we challenge them as actors as well? Yeah. And these actors keep getting better and better. Um, and it's, uh, it's amazing to see how much, uh, especially like Dylan and Tyler have grown having known them from teenage boys um, uh, on the pilot stage. So. We're always trying to give them new things to do. I, I love 3B, where uh, Dylan got to be a bad guy. Um, I think some of the... I was, I was watch, watching that, um, and uh, the, the moment where he says, you can't kill me, I'm a thousand years old, I still get chills. <laughs> that was phenomenal. It's better than most villains in the movies, I see. Uh, he should be in the Avengers or something. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I, just, I just missed it. But, uh, I just did it. <laughs> but uh, he, it's when 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 you see that, you you want to write more, and you want to you want to try to figure out uh, more. And I have a great team of writers, uh, Angela, Eric, Ian, Will, and um, they're all working really hard to come up with what are the we 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 approach it as fans ourselves. What do we want to see these characters do? How do we want to see? One of the things, there's a tiny little exercise we always do when we're, when we're banging our heads against the wall and we're really frustrated in the room. I say, okay, stop. Um, what are five scenes we'd like them to see? And it's like, I'll start with, I want to see Kira in a sword fight with someone in, in some, some scene here. I want to see... 
You're in. You're not in the writers' room. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we we try to treat ourselves as fans first in the show. Absolutely. Uh, and you know, mentioning the three B arc with Styles, I think for a lot of people that was a huge moment that they are still obsessed with, based on the fan reaction. And I'm curious for you guys. I mean, what are some of your favorite moments from? the show, does anything jump out as something that was either super cool to film or just something, not to say you sit at home and watch your own show, but you know. I do. <laughs> <laughs> the set designs are incredible on the show, and I'm always commenting when we're actually filming them, but ironically, my favorite scene is all the white room stuff. Um, that was not CGI, it was like actually that big, it was incredible. Um, and the playing Go with Nugitsune, uh, yeah, I've seen the two of them, Aaron, and he plays in the good today. And I mean, having to go in an audition, which, yeah, auditioning sucks. And the guy comes in, Aaron comes in, and he, like, you get the audition based on a walk and a, and, a, and, a, and a growl. Like, you don't really see his face. You don't get to see his eyes. And I thought he was incredible. And then Dylan, he and Dylan played together. It's like amazing. I loved it. Thanks, all. Yeah. She Good almost dog. swore. So but she stopped it. That's. Yeah. Ha, ha. I thought you were about to say phenomenal. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that's right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> phenomenal with a pH. Phenopoly. Phenomenal. Friends joke. Okay. <laughs> Missed it. Um, Favorite I, moments. I. Uh, um, it always has to be the pilot for me, I guess, just because it's that's where it all started, you know, and it's. Such a trip to think back to. Um, you know, we were 18 when we did it, and mm, so much just fun. for me too, it was like the first time being on a set and doing something. You know, it's just like crazy. It's kind of a blur, but like a, a you know, really vivid at the same time. Like I do remember so much from it, but at the same time, I'm just like I had I was a completely different person in mind on set. You know, it's just so interesting. I was such a kid and I was so new to acting at all. It was like, it was like I was blacking out all the time, the whole time, <laughs> but also retaining it. That's <laughs> yeah, just really weird. Um, I think so you the did pilot. black out when we hung you upside down, right? Yep. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Because again, it's like first time pilot. on a set, I'm just like game to do whatever, you know? Like, let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Uh, you good? I'm fine. Let's <laughs> let's go. And then I started like passing out. Um, <laughs> and that was good training, because uh, you have to do that stuff to, sometimes as an actor. <laughs> Pass <Jeff> out. <laughs> uh, if you were just to give a percentage, how many of your actors have you almost killed over the last five years? All, all of them. <laughs> At some point or another. Killed? I don't know. Um, well, yeah. we try Just not to kidding. put them in dangerous situations. Uh, Joe, I mean, you know, I'm going to continue asking the actors, but for you, I mean, you've written almost all of these moments. What are some of your favorite moments on Teen Wolf? I can't take credit for all of them. Um, but actually, you write every word that's on the show. Just some, of, some of my favorite moments have been um, just uh, the comedy scenes I love. I love, uh, I'll tell you, one of, one of my favorite moments uh, that I had, I had to do in a rewrite that wasn't there. Um, it wasn't there in the first draft, uh, and I was feeling like the scene didn't quite have the emotional punch I wanted it to have. It was the hug at uh, the MRI. You guys remember that? I was gonna oh, say the same thing. Because we had, we had talked in the writer's room, there needs to be a moment where Scott says to Styles, if this doesn't work, I'll take care of it. I'll give you the bite. We had tr we tried it in the previous episode, and we were thinking maybe it would come down in the later episode. And I'm sitting there with the production draft trying to uh, fix this moment and thinking, no, he should he should say it right here. And the, the way they played it on screen, that turned out to be one of my favorite moments of that season. And partially because it's the, um, the show is very much about friendship. Uh, there there's There's romance in the show, there's comedy, but when it comes down to it, what I, what I like about the romances, too, is they start as friendships. Um, and that uh, Lydia and Styles, who knows where their relationship will ever go, but we know that they make great friends as well. And I love the friendship uh, between Scott and Styles. That's, been, that's one of the most joyful <clears throat> things for me to write and see be made by these actors on screen. Because in high school, uh, as some young writers are, I was a very lonely kid. And that was the friendship I wished I had had for myself. <laughs> Tyler, you said you were going to pick that moment as well. I was, yeah. Um, uh, any, any, anything with me and Dill, I agree, the pilot. But like the emotional, well, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, any, any, anything that he, we have to go pee really bad. Oh, dude, it's... Okay, then go, please go. I do not want you to. Do we have time? Can yes, I, I'll, you I'll can be so hundred... time. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up. <laughs> I didn't I'm gonna, realize this was like, wait, an wait. like got to the point of injury for you. You're good, you're good. You run. Run, run, run! <laughs> it's amazing the freedom we have on this show. <laughs> Here and if you... If you after, yeah. after I answer That's my question, amazing. I'm gonna do the same thing. I think. Okay. I really have to go pee sure. too. We can... um, uh, anything, anything with Dill emotional stuff is... Um, he, he and I are so there for each other. Like, when we were doing the motel scene, after every take, we would literally just hug each other. And, and, and that kind of stuff just really sticks out to me. You know, he and I have this uh, a bond I've never had with any, any, anyone who's not my family before, you know? And, uh, and it holds true every day, every time we're on, on set with each other. You know, we, we, we're really, really there for one another. And um, anytime I do anything emotional with him, is, uh, it, it's, it's, it's huge, man. It's impactful. I love that. It leaves its mark. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Crystal, I would love to ask you the same question. I mean, favorite moments from your time? Um, I think I, I have to, you know, agree about the pilot. It's something I'll never, ever, ever forget. Um, but, you know, I was thinking about this the other day, and the scene at the end of season one with um, uh, Ian and Jill, when he kills, when he kills my, uh, my aunt, Ian was so there for me, and it was so amazing. And I remember being on set. It's, it's difficult because they, for those of you who don't know, you film one thing, and then you turn around, and you film another thing. And oftentimes, the other actor doesn't really give you anything to work off of. Well, most of, sometimes they don't. Um, and Ian was just there for me every second of the way. And oftentimes, he was just, was just performing this amazing thing. And it was so easy for me to connect to my aunt dying. And it was such an emotional moment for me. And I feel like for that <laughs> That was impressive. That was good. Fast, fast. Um, and I feel like um, that was such a great moment for me. And I love him. I caught the end of the last season. And he's such a good villain. Yeah. He's like always surprises me with his delivery. Um, so I think that might have to be it. Absolutely. Um, well, working off this, we have a question from the Paley app. Uh, Void Studio 26 asks, what has been your favorite season of the show? And here's how we're going to do this. Everybody close your eyes, and I'm just going to go one by one. You raise your hand when it's your favorite season. This way you can't be influenced by anyone else. Everyone close your eyes. Raise your hand if your favorite season is season one. I can't answer this question. OK, yeah, this hands hard. out. Raise your hand if your favorite season is see. season two. <laughs> I see how this is going to go. All right, season three. <laughs> season four. And season five. Okay. Oh, I didn't know season five was. Can we vote on all do that one? <laughs> Mostly. Oh, damn it. It's okay. I took it seriously. Do we get to know? Everyone pretty much picked all of them. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> for me, I picked season They one. did not play by the rules. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Oh, um, all right, so at this point, we are going to open it up to fan questions in the audience. I'm going to go pee. I'm going to go pee. Okay, so the first question pee. cannot be proposed. So just raise your hand Bad and so wait for the Very microphone close. because the people on the live stream need to hear you. Uh, and we are going to start with this lady right here in the green, I think it's green jacket? Yes. Do we ever learn Styles' real name? Styles' real name? Are we good? Is that for me? Yeah. As if one of the actors um, would answer that. The writing room knows the first letter of his name, and they're trying to get it out of me. But uh, I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm still say. deciding if, if I want, like, the last episode of the show you see it written down somewhere um i think it should be something totally normal and for whatever Bob. reason i just styles just doesn't like it's not it's actually it's a real name but i have to look at it to remember how to spell it <laughs> wow that, so the complete opposite of, of my idea is happening yeah. yeah it's just Jarrett with one r and two t's Jeff, just so you know <laughs> um all right our next question is uh right over here this i think it's a blue Sweater? Yes, perfect. You seem to. Hi. Um, it's not really a question about the show. It's my best friend's birthday today, <laughs> and I'm going to her. <laughs> um, Teen Wolf is our favorite show, and I was wondering if everyone can sing Happy Birthday to her, because that would be a really awesome gift. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. <coughs> really good. <laughs> uh, okay. What's her name? Uh, we need a name. Oh, yeah. Mahela? Marilyn? 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 Marilyn or Marilyn? Take it away, Posey. Happy birthday to you. What's everyone doing? Happy birthday to you. 
Um, there's a girl behind you, sir, in a maroon shirt. Yep. <laughs> you can yep. Costume. There you go. Yeah. Hi. Um, I was wondering, uh, in the original Teen Wolf, uh, I see a lot of similarities between uh, Lewis, I think, and Liam. I was wondering if you were still uh, finding any ways to take ideas from the original either movie or cartoon and incorporate it into the seasons now. I, I had to think who was Lewis in the movie. He was, he was so, the one that was kind yeah. of like with Scott a lot. Yes, I remember. Um, and he's the one who becomes, he's the only one who's scared of Scott in the movie. Yeah. I remember that. Um, you know, we, we like our little homages, but I think we've kind of stopped doing that. Uh, uh, we, since, since season two had a, basically a walking lizard, <laughs> We kind of left, feel like we left the movie behind at that point. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. Um, sure, that girl right there. Hello. Um, I just wanted to know if Daniel Sharman's coming back. <laughs> I talked to Daniel the other day. Uh, we're not sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I talked to him the other day. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yep, up that. there. Does Danny come back? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I don't like to make too many promises because then, uh, then I end up on a phone with an agent saying, you said you'd, he'd come back. <laughs> we have a gif of it from Paley Fest. You said it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. uh, how about right up there, the girl in the black? Oh, me? <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, I met Holland in Sydney, Australia last year as well. She's right over here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> um, I guess I just wanted to ask um, if you guys could work with any actor that, uh, on the show, who would it be and why? On the show. On our show? Yeah. If we could work with any, any actor that's already on our show? Well, this any, is just getting Any actor in the world. Oh, if, they, if, oh. if we could have them on our show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if we could have them on our show. I was confused too. I was confused too. If okay, you could cool. work with anyone you wanted. Chris Pratt. Robert De Niro. I'd put Brian Cranston on the show in a oh, heartbeat. Maybe Lydia would sell some math. <laughs> Michael Pitt. Jason Mewes. Anybody else? We can make that happen. <laughs> yeah, that was realistic. Uh, Jessica Lang. Oh, I love Jessica Lang. I would. Yeah. Uh, Who would you work with? Julianne Moore. This is a very exciting guest star season on Teen Wolf. I like it. Right now. Love it. Jam packed. <laughs> um, how about uh, the girl in the blue sweat? Oh, sure. There's so much blue. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. No. This is fun. Oh. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, if you got to choose any other animal besides a werewolf, what would you choose? Cool. Raccoon. Yeah. Yeah. Those things are crazy. Yeah, those things. Raccoons <laughs> are so nasty. Has anyone ever. <laughs> have you ever had an encounter with a raccoon? Oh, they're, they're gnarly. Yeah. They'll uh, kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. We have a pet possum on set, so maybe a possum. Yeah, pet possum. These are deadly animals. I know. Panda bears are pretty deadly. Raccoons too. are so scary. Yeah, raccoons are crazy. Raccoons are, are, are they, they, they won't stop. Totally scary. They won't, they won't stop. I'd be a kangaroo. I'd be a, a leech. <laughs> <laughs> Suck on things. A ladybug. Oh, so cute. A little ladybug. Well, oh, it'd be a dinosaur. Yeah, that would be fun. They really That's won't stop. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that would be amazing. Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> really this is dope. evolving very quickly. Thank you, you very much. All right. Uh, Name something. Turtle. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Team Turtle. Where are the mic people? Uh, yep, I want to pick back one. Back there in the, sure. Hi, I love you guys. Hi. Um, I was wondering. You we guys, love you. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. Um, do you guys play pranks on set? Not so much anymore. Um, we, uh, we have so much fun as it is. We don't need pranks in order to like keep the fun up. You know what I mean? We have a good balance of like professionalism and just greatness. What? What happened? I feel like Arden is dubious. Arden, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. You guys well, yeah, did more on the Arden. Pull pranks on me. Do I, what do I do? Oh, I scare her. Is that a prank? Kind of. 
I just go like this. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. And he does it in the dark all the time, and our I set is really <laughs> scary when it's dark. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, Charlie. Uh, <laughs> Charlie. Charlie has a question. <laughs> you have a question? Question. question. We're getting him a microphone. This one really wants it. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, guys. Danny wanted me to ask a question. <laughs> yes, stranger. I just want to know if we can all hang out. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! Give me a ring. Of course. I'll check my schedule. Don't you have... We got a question for you. Oh, it's Dylan. Dylan, this is a question for you. Me, Dylan? <laughs> Who do you have the biggest bromance with? Me, Dylan, or Lil Dylan? Me, Dylan? You, Dylan. Me, Dylan. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. Yeah, I guess the Tyler me, Posey yeah. or Will Poulter? That's not a nice oh. question. Yeah, why, why are we doing this? <laughs> why, are we, why are you so, like, happy to answer the question. Ask that question? Answer the question. <laughs> it's like, yes, we're, we're going to put him on the spot. He's going to be so uncomfortable. <laughs> Yes, he's going to hate this. <laughs> yes, now he's going to get critiqued on what he says. Yes. We don't quantify like I want to, can I pick somebody that, can I pick somebody? Yes. I like, what are you on the very right with the, with the tank top? It says, please, be, bed, please. Bead, bead. Beach, please. Beach, please. <laughs> Beard. Oh, beach, please, like. Oh, oh, can we give her the beach. microphone, sir? <laughs> oh, he's, he's so oh, running the other way. way. He's, sorry. Oh, Just sorry. scream it. He's coming. Oh, we have to for the, shoot. So can we give it to this girl yes. in the beach, please? Is it pink? It is. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Cool. Pass it along. Let's all be friends and just pass just it. Just throw it, throw it at this her. Is good. As hard as you can. Don't I love this it. teamwork, teamwork, um, teamwork. Oh my, this is a dream. Thank you so much. Um, I just want to say, you guys, um, it's more of a statement. Thank you for helping me getting through my sophomore, junior, senior, and first year of college. Uh, Team Wolf aired, and my mom told me, you know, let's let's watch it together. So it's always been a mother daughter every Monday oh, night. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. And um, <laughs> uh, Dylan, my mom loves you, mommy. I love you so much. I'm from Orlando, so I'm visiting. Is she right there? Is that her right there? Yes, she's on. She's uh, we're gonna film it for her. Is she wait? She's waiting. Oh no no. <laughs> it's, no. I was like, when she have you? When she was no. negative three? <laughs> <laughs> this is all on video, but yeah. my hometown loves you guys. We watch you guys every Monday awesome. night. And I, I, well, when I was in high school, it was our little lunch crew. But thank you so much for getting me through my high school years. Oh. And um, Alice in Your Death was very traumatic for all of us. <laughs> but like, I've watched TV shows nonstop, like Friends, and that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like, we were on group chat and Skyping crying with my oh. friends who, who are guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so it was a, uh, I'm shaking so bad, but uh, thank you guys. Thank you so thank much. You. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad I chose you. That was awesome. All right, we're going back here. That was really sweet. Hi, I love you guys. Um, this is for Lydia. Does Lydia find love in season five? <laughs> you mean it's a good famous question. <laughs> well, she only has four I... scripts so far. Five <laughs> scripts. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have gotten in trouble in the past because I don't realize what I can't say. <laughs> and so I'm so scared to say anything. My boss is right there. That's a big fat yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That could be a no. What's no? I'm just happy to know I have you in the grip of Yes, that's the answer. I'm in the grip of fear for my love interest. Ignorance that is it. Bliss. Thank you. Yep. Jeff, do you want to add anything to that question? I know You'll have to watch answer. and see. All right. uh, oh, may, so lame. May not, uh, she may not end up with the person you think she does at first. It's Malia. <gasps> it's Allison. Right. And then, <laughs> uh, this is going to be our last question. So it's the, I'm, I know, it's not me. We could stay here all night if it was up to me. We're going to go right there. Hello. Um, this question is for Jeff and Dylan O'Brien. Kind of on the vein of finding out Styles' first name, does he ever take his shirt off in the series? I, I have long left that up to Mr. O'Brien to decide. Really? Oh. Yes. Dylan? I thought it was like a rule. But yeah, I mean, but, but, I mean, but well, I'm not, didn't, trust didn't, me, I'm not saying, I'm not laying it on you. If it was up to me, it'd, it'd be no Did we sort of agree at a certain point that we'd passed it? 
that, yeah. we, that, that it was now impossible for, yeah. for, Dylan, for Styles to take his shirt off? Yeah, so then we started like coming Look, up with that. Have you seen the first time? It. He looks great in the first I time. Have seen it. You do. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's your Dylan O'Brien shirtless scene. <laughs> you did. You look good. Thanks, buddy. Let's do one more question. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to pick? Do you want to pick one more question? Do you want to pick? I want to pick. I want to pick. Come on, give it to me, guys. Come on, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Right here. You in the Timo shirt. You the, the curly, beautiful hair. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's coming. Here it right comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's coming. Can we hug Dylan? Uh, <laughs> okay, next question. We need one more. What the heck question. is wrong with one you? One more. One more. You with the jean jacket. Yes. <laughs> you. I'm sorry. I think that's illegal. I don't know if it's allowed. It's illegal in the United States. Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> sorry. Thank you for calling on me. Um, we have the same name, so that's cool. You and I. Yeah. My nice. name's Tyler. It's awesome. So, um, if do you guys have a favorite line that your character has ever said? Dear. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I do, yes. I, I, Scott, or Deaton's told Scott one time, so is it Deaton's line? It's kind of Scott's line. Uh, that uh, life can't be all bad or all good. And that quote alone has, has gotten me through mm. a, lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. So that is my favorite line. Life can't all be good or all bad. Regression to the mean. It was actually, I think, didn't we talk about this? It was, I was going through a rough time in my 20s and it was something my twin brother told me. And some of the best stuff in your writing comes from real life. And it was, uh, it was a moment of him saying, look, I know you feel terrible right now, but there's this thing called regression to the mean where life can't always be good or always be bad. It eventually just has to come back to the middle. And uh, it seemed like something that would uh, be perfect for Scott. And I actually am really happy to hear that uh, uh, it affected you personally. Big time, man. It's 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 changed my life. It's true. I'd like to know what Crystal. What are, what's your one of your favorite lines? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many, but I can remember specific circumstances. But I can't like, but I can't remember the actual line, and I don't want to. To it's your word, so I don't want to fuck it up. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We got a swear word. Um, but I remember a lot of, like, the, the uh, end of season two when Tyler and I are breaking up, there's just some very specific lines in there. And oh, then with yeah. Kate, where she, when she, or with um, uh, Mr. Stalinsky, she has so many, she says so many great um, prolific things, and I don't want to misquote you. I love it when you say, actually, in that scene, there's no such thing as fate, and he yes! goes back there's to no you. There's no such thing as werewolves. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I love, that's one of my favorite moments. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> all right, well, I cannot think of a, <laughs> a better place to say thank you so much to the Teen Wolf cast. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you to everyone here. Oh, my God. Thank you to the Yahoo have a good oh, wow. time.